So in this video, I will show you how to design shear reinforcement for a beam. So exporting uh, ETAPS results. So first I will design the model. So go to concrete frame design, start design. So once it is designed, so select design, concrete frame design display design information so here i need a shear reinforcement so select shear reinforcing apply okay so whatever you see so this is shear reinforcement area per meter so i will show how to convert this to spacing So I exported the same ETAPS model. So this is the shear area. So it is mm square per meter. So my beam size is 380 into 600 mm. So effective depth of the beam. So I have taken it as 540 millimeters. So my grade of concrete, it is 20 Newton per mm square. So grade of steel for shear reinforcement. So it is 415 Newton per mm square. So you should remember the formula spacing equals area of one stirrup so divided by area of steel required per meter. area of steel required per meter so this area of one stirrup it is in mm square in numerator so in denominator we have area of steel required per meter so it is mm square per meter so this gets cancelled mm square mm square so to convert this meter to millimeter so multiplied by thousand so here in this case i will assume 8 mm diaster up two legged vertical stirrups so let me find the area for stirrups so it has two legs so two multiplied by so it is a hundred 0.53 mm square so it is area of one stirrup which means it is including two legs okay so area of steel required it is 421.20 mm square per meter. So let me use the formula spacing S equals so area of one stirrup. So it is 100.53 mm square. So divided by area of steel required. So 421.20 mm square per meter 
so multiplied by thousand so let me solve this so 100.53 divided by 421.20 so multiplied by 1000 so it is 238.67 so spacing 238.67 millimeters so for shear reinforcement minimum spacing it will be provided 100 mm so next it will be multiples of 25 so 125 mm so 150 mm so 175 mm so next it is 200 mm next to 225 mm so 250 mm so so like so it is in multiples of 25 mm so here required spacing is 238 so i will provide a spacing of 225 mm so my shear reinforcement is 8 mm dia stirrups two legged at 225 mm center to center so this is my shear reinforcement design so let me check this value with IS code. So we have a class for uh, spacing. See here. So IS 456 2000. So class number 26.5.1.5. Maximum spacing of shear reinforcement. The maximum spacing of shear reinforcement measured along the axis of the member shall not exceed 0.5 times D for vertical stirrups. So first one is point seven five times D and the next for vertical stirrups. So next it is, in no case shall the spacing exceed 300 mm. So next it is, it should not be greater than 300 mm. So third one will be, calculated spacing. So out of these three criteria, we need to provide minimum minimum spacing. So 0 0.75 times D. So my effective depth is 540. So next one is 300. Next to calculated spacing is 225. So 0 0.75 times multiplied by effective depth 540. So it will be 405. So 405 mm, 300 mm, 225 mm. So out of these three, we need to provide minimum value. So spacing is 225 mm. So my shear reinforcement is so final design is 8 mm dia stirrups two legged vertical stirrups so spacing 225 mm center to center so this is my final shear reinforcement design